MPs have been debating a blood scandal which left thousands of haemophiliacs infected with diseases like HIV and AIDS. The Commons debate on compensation for victims and their families was followed closely by many from our region who've been campaigning for years. However, the government is warning that any payouts here will not match those already seen in the Republic of Ireland, where some victims have received up to a million euros. And we'll have more reaction to that story a little later in the programme. Now, as we told you earlier, MPs have been debating a blood scandal which left thousands of haemophiliacs infected with diseases like HIV AIDS. The debate about compensation for victims and their families has been followed closely by many people from our region who've been campaigning for years. The government has said today it won't match compensation payments paid out in the Republic of Ireland where some victims have received up to a million euros. Well, Karen Grayson lost her husband and her brother-in-law to infected blood. And Carol was watching that debate at the studio here. Carol joins us now. Carol, you've been so heavily involved in this campaign, providing information for successive governments as well to make decisions on. Was today's outcome what you expected? I was very shocked by the ministerial statement which went again against the proposal by the MPs which was to compensate on the same level as Ireland which is something my husband and I set up in 1996. Right and you have over the years campaigned heavily haven't you? Tell us, tell us a little bit about that. Well we've challenged legally, um, we've taken part in a judicial review for treatment um, I've done my own research which um, looks at um, and criticises the government report, um, made documentaries, briefed MPs for debates. Um. Your personal campaign has been, um, started with your husband Peter Longstaff and, and, and his brother Stephen Longstaff, both of them tragically lost their lives through this. Um, a lot of the information that was debated today was provided by you because you've been absolutely the driving force behind this in Peter's memory, haven't you? I have. And what was so disappointing and is a very dangerous precedent is the coalition government is using the financial crisis of the country as a reason not to give justice. That, you know. Now, there was an interesting point made, wasn't there, by the Tory MP Philip Lee from Bracknell. A GP, he said that the £3 billion figure was wrong and the real cost of compensating victims would be along the, um, about a billion uh, pounds mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and that actually the NHS spends a billion every three and a half days so he thinks that it is affordable. What did you make of that? I actually think that he hasn't quite got it right. I think it probably is £3 billion because I don't think they're taking into account the families. You know, so I actually think that they're looking at the infected people, but they must look at the affected people too. You were right. paying attention very closely on, on our behalf and, of course, on your behalf today. We're going to hear just one or two of the comments that the, the MPs contributed to the debate this afternoon. It's not just individuals that are affected. It's whole families. The condition will run in families. And the level of stress that people are living with as a failure of successive governments to tackle this issue is totally something this, this House should condemn. I have said I will look at certain aspects and I will report by Christmas because I am acutely aware that campaigners on this issue have been left hanging for far too long. Some of the contributions today, um, Carol, uh, we seem to be no further in the battle for compensation. There, there wasn't a hard and fast admission of guilt neglect today. What about the apology that you heard there somewhere today? What's your reaction to that? It was a very half-hearted apology. The Minister said she was sorry, but we needed an admission of guilt and wrongdoing because MPs actually said there was negligence and it was also cross-party. But that was avoided, was it? The admission of negligence, it was avoided, you never got yes. that. What are you going to do next? Can you carry on? Will you keep going? Oh, I'll keep going and I shall be um, contacting lawyers to look at um, how I can challenge this as I've always done. You must be so frustrated and disappointed though today after such a long campaign. Totally frustrated but absolutely determined that I'm going to continue with it. But on a positive note, if, if, if there is one, you've brought this into the public domain massively and this debate today has helped perhaps to add momentum to your own campaign, do you think? It has, because I think it's educated a lot of people that actually didn't really understand you know, what had happened, so that's very good. And we'll continue to educate people through the media, through our own writing. You know, we're doing our own research now, so we'll continue in that direction. Good luck with it. Very Thank best you. of luck, Carol. Thanks, Thanks Carol.